Hello everyone, Omega Wolf Ben here today with my next um, My Little Pony <clears throat> final season reaction video. Today we are looking at episode 12, which I think is going to be quite a interesting episode because I believe this episode we finally find out um, about Scootaloo's parents and where they are and well, what's happened to them, etc. I believe. Because it says there's something that's going to try and uh, that could like destroy the Kingdom of the Crusaders somehow. So it may not be that, but I think from what I've seen online, it is her parents from seeing screenshots. So let's get into it, shall we? Okay. She's British. She sounds British. I could use that kind of help. <laughs> Come on, Auntie Lottie. You already have your cutie mark. Lot of good it does me. I can't decide what theme to give this quilt. I've run out of inspiration. How about apples, puppies, tides, or cotton candy, or ballet? What about a Wonderbolt quilt? <laughs> See, leave it to you three to come up with more ideas than I've had in a year. Now that's talent. Goodness, we better get going or we'll miss our train home. Oh dear. I left you plenty of healthy food for the weekend. And I left you cookies. Cookies. <laughs> <laughs> the cakes will stay with you tonight. Then ready, and Rainbow Dash after that. Remember, we're just a few stops from Ponyville if you need us. She knows, Holiday. See you next week, slugger. Slugger. Bye, Aunt Holiday. Bye, Auntie Lofty. Huh. Your aunts are so nice. Yeah. So she lives on her own now, but has... I know. I just wish they lived closer. No pony bakes like Auntie Lofty. So it looks like she has people... <gasps> You're coming home today. Who? Oh, hi, baby. <laughs> After nine seasons. We finally know what are they doing? What have they been doing? Why have they been neglecting her? Today we're going to learn about the Pegasus weather factor. Seriously, all the ones over in Wadash Adopting School to Lou are Um, do you hear that? That is the fleet of that is the fleet of family of family fan fictions sinking to the bottom of the depths. Sinking. <laughs> Why don't we hold off on the lesson until after lunch? How about show and tell? Does any pony have any parents? They're coming home to Ponyville today! So? Hey, they don't live here? Nope. Their jobs are way too important for that. They travel mm. to the farthest, most dangerous places in Equestria to study okay. unknown plants and fierce creatures. So they are what, like archaeologists, scientists? Scars to prove it. You're making that up. No pony has that kind of job. <laughs> go away. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Demon! Let me guess it's a pet. Or not. Oh, hello, Australian sounding pony. And that means now, mister. <coughs> Bleh. Mom! Dad! Still think she's making it all up? 
Ah. I know. Mm. Sorry to make such an entrance. Just brought back a few mates from our last adventure. We couldn't wait another moment to see Scootaloo. I hope we didn't interrupt anything. No, I think class is dismissed. I think I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> ah. Right. Nearly as tall as me now, Scoot. Oh, come on, Dad. Oh, Scootaloo, we missed you. Me too, Mom. It is nice that it is nice that she actually does have parents that haven't died. That everyone oh she's an on orphan. I say we celebrate with ice cream sundays. They don't have those in the jungle, that's for sure. It is nice that she's actually got parents and she's not an or she's not orphaned or anything like many people thought she was in the first few seasons. And such. And Princess Twilight said we're such good friendship tutors, she might even let us teach a class. Good on you, Scoot. What an honor. I can give you a tour of the school if you want. I mean, if you're staying for a while this time. Oh, you'll be seeing plenty of us. Really? <laughs> because we've taken a new job assignment that will let all of us live together. Ooh. I can't believe it! That's what? awesome! Oh, Rod Scootaloo! Woohoo! We never planned to be away for so long in the first place. We just kept discovering things that could help Equestria. And no pony else had the experience to finish our job. But with all that's happened lately, Sombra's return, the destruction of the Tree of Harmony, we decided our family should uh, be together. Yeah. About that. This is the best day of my life. We'll stay in town for the weekend so you can pack your things. Wait, what? what? We're all moving to Shire Laika. Uh -huh. That's where our new job is. My friends are in Ponyville. You can come back and visit them. Or they can take the train to us. There's one every month. What's good? I can't believe. We've been together our whole lives. It'll be a big change for everybody. But it'll be a good change. Give it time. You'll see. So what is, so what is that? It's the end of the Cutie Mark Crusade. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Oh, I think I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> and now call our last ever Cutie Mark Crusader meeting to order. Bang. First item of business. <laughs> I can obviously understand why they're crying, but still funny. You can't let the blank pinks down just because I'm gone. You gotta keep me in CMCs without me. <laughs> Jesus. That is not the reaction I was expecting. Thanks for the tickets, Rainbow Dash, but I can't go. Her parents are making her move super far away from Ponyville. What? No way. Scootaloo belongs here. And now we'll probably never see her again. Oh, you're overreacting. So oh, you're overreacting. <laughs> Well, there we go. 
Surprise, surprise, make it up. So, you want these tickets, or...? Not now, Rainbow. This is what I wanted to show you. The tracks of the mysterious, ever-free, banshee beast. Hmm. They're like nothing I've ever seen. Legend says it has five claws and three wings. And it's super dangerous if you get close. Mm -hmm. Only some pony could prove it exists. Hmm. Easy enough. We'll follow the spool. <laughs> I think I heard something this way. So yeah, the like uh, nature archaeologist type things are looking for like exotic animals and plants and such like stuff like that. Now the plan is spread. His bunny is a hot. Why don't you just talk to your parents, Scootaloo, about it, for God's sake? It is simple. It'd be like super glue water. Oh, Is something supposed to happen? Told you. Is this the something that's supposed to happen? Yeah. The book didn't really say. Yeah, we did it. Test. This has to work. It doesn't. Scootaloo, I know you're having fun with your friends, but we need to get all our things to the station. We can't miss tomorrow's train. It's the only one for a month. Then you'll just have to go without me. I'm staying with the CMCs. We are chained to this post, and nothing and no pony is gonna move us. No matter what. to accept but just it's more than hard it's not fair you're making me pick between my family and my friends oh scootaloo moving away won't stop you three from caring about each other why don't you sleep over with sweetie bell and apple bloom tonight it'll give you a chance to say a real goodbye but i don't want to say goodbye you're changing my whole life without even asking how I 
Mm-hmm. She has a point. A very big point. The thing is, though, now we've known about her parents, what about her wings? Can she fly or is she not able to fly? I don't get it. This is a big question still. What a nice surprise. And I've got a surprise for you. Cookies! I think. You three inspired me to finish yeah, my man. quilt. See, it's Cutie Mark Crusader themed. We love hearing stories about all the ponies you've helped. So Lofty decided to celebrate the special job you three do. <sighs> it's still a work in progress. Mm. It's not your quill we're sad about, Auntie Lofty. Mom and Dad are back, and they're making me move to Shire Lanka with them. Snap and mine a bit. They didn't tell me that. Oh, I think the male pony delivered your letter to my house. Mm. I love my family, but I love being with my friends, too. I don't want to have to choose. Well, then why don't your parents just stay in Ponyville? Their job is too important. That's it! Is this another potion idea? Nah. No! Scootaloo's parents are the only ponies in Equestria that can do what they do, right? Yeah. Right? Well, so find so someone else to do it. We? Don't work. Now, how do we explain that to them? Oh, you don't have to explain it. They will. Um, Feeling better, Scootaloo? No. A little. I just want to show you something before we go. All right. Now let's make it swift. That train won't wait. Okay. Sweet Celestia Slippers. <laughs> Celestia Slippers. Oh, hello, Sugar Bell. It's Cutie Mark Crusader Appreciation Day! Wow. Like we couldn't start without all of them here. Mm -hmm. You're dead. CMC! 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 Hello, Starlight. Oh, Alright. You are there, never mind. CMC! These three ponies share a rare ability to help others find their true purpose. It's a job only they can do, and only together. That sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. In honor of all they have done and continue to do for the ponies of this town, I would like to present the Cutie Mark Crusaders with a three-handled key to the city. A free handled one. We need free hoof. Show off. I say you win the game. Them to do what's in their heart. <laughs> These three fillies offer the town something yeah. no other pony can. Oh, Bubsy is in background. Dun, dun, dun. No way! <laughs> After all that, you're still going to make her leave? We just want what's best for Scootaloo. Mm -hmm. And until now, we thought we knew what that was. Wow. Turns out, you're just like us, Scoot. You have an important job that only you can do. You love it, and it helps all of Equestria. 
Sometimes that means missing out on other things you love, like watching our daughter grow into a pony we're very proud of. Which is a long way to say, Scoot, if you want to stay, we understand. <gasps> We didn't realize it sooner. Our work is our life's purpose. We could never quit, so there's no way we can ask you. I'm not crying. Shut up. Maybe I should have thought of that before you sold the house. Lofty, mm -hmm. don't tease my brother. We already have a solution worked out. Oh. Since the CMCs make Ponyville such a nice place, we've decided to move here. Dang. You can live with us, good Lou, if you'd like. That would be amazing! Will you still come and visit? Of Excuse course! Me. Rabbit bugbears couldn't keep us away. Yeah. You got to stay here! You got to stay here! You got to stay here! <laughs> uh, you are staying here, right? Duh. Okay, that was a really good episode. I I don't want to I don't want to jump the gun too much, but if that's if that has to be the last CMC centered episode of the show, I I'm happy with that. I mean, they could come back a bit later. There is still a good few epi a good I don't know what like ten episodes, 10, 12 episodes. So there could still be another CMC centered episode. But if that is the last one of them, of them centered, yeah, that was a really good send off to the CMC. And that's the CMC. This isn't the main six yet. And if I and if I teared up, yes, I did tear up a bit. If you can't, well, you probably won't be able to tell from the camera. But yeah, if that's the CMC, if they do something like that for the um, season final when we're saying goodbye to them all, oh my god, I'm gonna be bawling my eyes out. I am counting on it. But yes. That episode was a very, very good episode. There seems to be there seems to be getting a lot of good hits this season. Well, it is the last season, so they better do. But yes, yes, that was a really good episode. I did enjoy it. It's nice that we finally got a bit of closure on Scooter Lou's parents. So we now know she is an orphan. Her parents aren't dead. They are alive. Just obviously, they do a job that means they're away from home majority of the time. So that's good. We've got that bit now. The only thing we still need to know about Scooter Lou is, can she fly or is she actually disabled? Or is she actually got like some sort of disability that doesn't let her fly? That is the only thing we really need to know about Scooter Lou anymore. But we'll have to wait and see. So this is Omega Wolf Ben reacting to episode 12 of the final season of MLP. Signing off.